when you go into the forest or the into the bush, you look at the animals he created there. In species with which the waters are abundant. Yes, sir. According to their kind. Waters in abundance according to their, you know, kinds. You see river, stream, well, everything. You know, he created everything in abundance for us to enjoy. And I pray for somebody today that what God created for you to enjoy, that devil, you know, as a child from your life, you shall receive them back today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because David said, if I pursue, will I recover? God said, recover, pursue, you get it up. As you are pursuing your abundance today, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything that is shot in your life shall come to Norma today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What does he say for that, sir? According to their kind. According to their kind. And every winged bird, and according to its kind. And everything that he mentioned and, as his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the Lord God said that it was good. And God blessed them, saying. And the Lord blessed them and said. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. And multiply. He created you. There's no, I do tell people, there's no how you want to talk about the handiwork of God. That you not go back to, to, to the book of Genesis. He created everything in abundance in man. He said be fruitful. You know what fruitfulness means? To multiply. God created multiplication, abundance into you. God created you to take dominion. To have more, you know, to have more space for yourself. From your spirit being to the physical. He doesn't want anything to hurt you. He wants you to expand. To grow. Why? He wants your spirit man to enjoy the fullness of the Lord. Because when he created them for you, when he gave them to you, he didn't take anything little out of it, back from it. He gave it to you in abundance. But why is it that you don't have enough of everything that God gave? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say for that, sir? And fill the waters in the seas. Yes. And let the birds multiply on the earth. Yes. So the, so the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Yes. Then God said, Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind. Yes. Cattle and the creeping thing be the, and beasts of the earth. Yes. Each according to its kind. Yes. And it was so. It was so. And God made the beasts of the earth. Yes. According to its kind. Yes. Cattle according to its kind. Uh -huh. And everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God said that it was good. In the Lord now saw that everything he made was good. When God created you, when he created the man, he made sure he created perfection with us. If there's nothing that is yet to be perfected in your life today, I speak to your life that that perfection will catch you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything that needed to be added to man was given to him to enjoy perfections of the Lord, the abundance of the Lord, the plentifulness of the Lord, the greatness of the Lord. God wants you to be great as he is great. He wants you to be wonderful as he is wonderful. He wants you to be glorious as everything he made was glorious. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying to somebody today, He will make you great. Amen. And buoyant in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then God said, Then God said, Let us make man. Let us make man. In our image. In our image. According to our likeness. According to our likeness. Let them have dominion. Let them have dominion. Over the fish of the sea. Let them, oh my God, let them multiply. Let them have power over them. Let them rule over them. 
Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when somebody for someone to be abundantly created, it means you have enough. You can do and undo. Hallelujah. Amen. What is it that God didn't create with you? He created life with you. He created bigness with you. He created up taking over with you. He taking over, taking dominion with you. No what I say, anywhere you enter, you must take over. Anywhere your foot is stepping into, take it over in that spiritual realm. Maybe you are still slacking in knowing everything that God has created to you and for you with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you are still slacking in knowing what to say before the Lord. Realizing that I created you good. Created you fine. Why would you not know God? Because in the first place, he created you to know him. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Before Satan came to this village, they just with two men and God. They don't know that person that God alone. Mm. He created his love for you in abundance. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants you to show love to him. As he has shown you love, he has given man, he has, when I say man, woman, human beings, everything in abundance. Hallelujah. Amen. For you to ask and receive, he gave it to you in abundance. Say, ask, he shall be given not to you. You didn't force him to say that. Why would you not ask him? He says, knock. Why will you not knock the door? Some people say, after I've been praying to God, I've never received what I've been praying for. Does that mean you should not pray again? Does that mean you should not ask again? Do you know the time that God wants to give what you're asking for? Or to you? Do you know when he created that thing with you? After all, when he took Abraham, our forefather, from his lineage, from his house, God just said, I'm going to show you a place. Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't give everything to him one day. As we are, we are all did today. The everything you want from God, you want to have it the same day. But don't forget that this God we are talking about, has gotten everything in abundance. There's nothing you needed from him that has not gotten. Maybe you need to be patient with that God in your asking. Maybe you need to know him more in your asking. In serving him, you need to understand him more that he has gotten everything you needed in abundance. Then God bless them. Then God bless them. And God said to them. And God said to them. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. And multiply. Multiply. Fill the earth. Have in abundance. And subdue it. Take over the whole land and subdue everything. Have dominion over the fish of the sea. Have dominion over everything that you have over got. Over the birds. Over the air. Hallelujah. And over every living thing that moves on the earth. Everything moving under the earth. Take dominion over them. The riches to have everything has been given attached to you from creature. Everything you want to enjoy in God has been created with you from creature. That the blessing of the Lord can make you rich without stress. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not talking about the blessing of the world. We are by people who invest with money, they steal other people's property for their own. But we are talking about walking in the Lord to enjoy what God is having in plenty. He has, he has gotten life in plenty. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are talking about the Spirit of God that has given, that has been given unto you today. And God said. Because God is a God of the Spirit, 
And when he created you, he transferred that spirit unto you to have enough. To have enough. To have in plenty. To have God in plenty. When you have God in plenty, you will be able to surcharge everything in plenty. Hallelujah. Amen. When, you, when, God, when, you, when you have God enough in your life, there is nothing you need that God will not supply. Mm -hmm. It's because you have not gotten God enough. Hallelujah. Amen. You have not gotten him enough. When you have God enough, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. When you have God enough, <laughs> Jesus got his father enough. There is nowhere he enters that God does not supply his need. When he needed to feed multitude, you know how God supplies his need in thanking God. When he needed to, to pay tax, you know the miracle that paid tax. You know when Jesus was to heal, because he has gotten enough of God in him, Nothing was difficult for him to achieve. Why are you not achieving things as God has created it for you? It's because you have not gotten enough of him, enough of his spirit. Everything about you is half, halfway with God. Halfway with God. You love a little. You fight a little. Where it says love, but you cannot do everything in plenty with God. Whereas everything he has given to us is to take dominion for him. What does he say for us? And God said, And God said, See, See, I have given you every hap that yields seed, Yes. Which is on the face of all the earth. Everything. And every three foods. Everything that you needed. You see to you. Has been given unto you. To you it shall be for food. Everything you needed, I'll be given to you. Also to every beast of the earth. Everything needed. Every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, in which they are Why is it that, why is it that your spirit cannot walk with the spirit of God? I've given every green tree up for you food, and it was so. Then God saw everything that he made. Everything that God made was good. And indeed, it was very good. So evening and the morning were the same. Everything day. that God made was okay for you. It is your spirit that is lacking. The abundance of the Lord. The spirit for you to walk in the Lord, you don't have enough of it. And you can only enjoy the fullness of God into the you know, categories where you belong. The levels you walk with God in his spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants you to enjoy him in the spirit he created for you with you. The buoyant spirit of God was given to man to take dominion. To ask for one thing and receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. Ask for something in faith from the Lord, and you will get it. The book of John, chapter 1, no, chapter 10, from verse 1, what does it say, sir? We are talking about the buoyant spirit of God that was made for you and I today. Why is it that you don't have things in, 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 in abundance? Hallelujah. Most. Do you know that you can have a child? And be more than three of some people. Yes. Just one child. Yes. A child that will be enough. More than four with some people. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know you can have a car and that car will give you rest and peace more than somebody that is having four? Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And you can have a marriage where you enjoy God till you die. And there will be no commotion, there will be no fighting, there will be no trouble. When you allow the Spirit of God to increase in your abode. Hallelujah. Amen. God is the Spirit. 
He wants us to walk in His Spirit that He created in us. He created for us. Hallelujah. Amen. What does He say in John? Most assuredly. Most assuredly. I say to you. I say unto you. He who does not. When He says, when He says assuredly, he, he, he was saying there can be no other shortcut. Is the, is the only way you need to understand what I'm saying to you. Yes, sir. He who does not enter the sheepfold by the door. He who will not enter into the fold by the main door. But clips up, up, up some other way. If you don't come by the spirit that God has given unto you to him. You cannot enjoy God. You become a cast out. If you don't want to abide with the rules of the Lord, you become a vagabond. Hallelujah. Amen. You become a cast out. They climb up some other way. They Amen. say it's a thief. When you don't come, to, when you don't come through the right channel that Jesus has given us to you to enjoy the will of God, you become a thief, a robber. But he, that does want to enter and grab something and run away. Amen. Amen. Even when they meet the owner, they grab it because I've never seen a tea that will come there and steal and say, okay, I'm still going to wait till the day break for the police. Hmm. No, no, no. It doesn't matter how courageous they are. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you see many of them, after they kill so many people, they kill themselves because they don't want to, they cannot face judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. You become a thief because you just want to grab, you want to grab mercy. You want to grab faith. You want to grab, 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 grab. But you don't want to submit to your spirit until you are a thief. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because Amen. he has given you his, his, his spirit in abundance, buoyantly, to walk like him, to dwell like him. Oh my God. To speak like him, to live like him. To have a relationship like him. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't tell people, I don't know, I don't know how you want to serve God and never serve somebody beside you. I don't know how you want to show love to God and you don't show love to the next person to you. You don't show love to your husband, you say you love God, you are a singer, you are just wasting your time. You don't show love to your husband. Ah, you are a prayer warrior. You are a liar. You are one of those that God says, okay, you know, he will accept your work, your service, and reject you. And we are asked, you are the one that God needs for his kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When you have abundance of the spirit, then you will walk according to and, and you will enjoy everything that God is having for you. Not the thing is having, you know, people of the world that just watch you today, many people of the world, they are after position, after money, after all those things, you know, they can kill anybody for money, they can kill anybody for position. Those are, that's not what God is saying. He's talking, when you have the spirit of God, you will not kill. You will not search anybody for their lives. You will not punish anyone for no reason. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say for that, sir? Yes. Mm. A buoyant spirit of God is needed in you today. Mm. And I pray for somebody that is watching. He went by by group by fire. Because the Bible says, the kingdom of the Lord suffered violence. It is only violent people, hardy people in their heart of God that can achieve it. With force. Devil doesn't want you to enjoy God, doesn't want to serve God, does not want anybody to serve God, but you must make sure you serve God by force in the hand of Satan. Satan doesn't want to love that person. All they want you to be doing is to fight that person, to make sure you are not friend, so that you can lose eternity with God. Make sure you grab yourself away from him. Take your heart from him. Take your spirit, that spirit of God, from him. 
so that you can enjoy the will of God more and more. What does he say for that side? But he who enters by the door yes. is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the doorkeeper opens and the sleep and sheep hear his voice. You know, we and have we, we have so many of them today that you, you think they are shepherd. Who are the shepherd? They are people that can be referred to as pastors, you know, uh, apostles, bishops, and so on and so forth. They, were, they, they call themselves to work for God, but they don't have the catalysis of God in them. We see them all over today now. They are the kind of the pastors or prophets that want to suck the breast of a, a, a woman for miracle's sake. They are the kind of people that doesn't matter. They want to, you know, all they are looking for is the beautiful ladies in their, in their fold to take to bed. There are, there, are, there are people, all they are after is money, 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 money. Hallelujah. Amen. He says they are thieves because they don't have the spirit of God in them. And it is what you have that you give. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say for that? The abundant spirit of God is what he required of you today for you to be a child of God, for you to be a kingdom-minded person. And the sheep hear his voice. And the sheep will always hear the voice of those that are not like those people. And he calls his own sheep by name. When you come by the right, you know, door, door pole, to the fold of the people of God, they will shake you by what you do. Hallelujah. Amen. When, 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 when you are a follower of a pastor or a bishop or, and you are doing errors and you cannot check what the Lord says in the Bible, I mean, it's, a, it's going to be a taboo. That when you are following a pastor, you must make sure you watch what they do with what God is saying. If they are not telling, you better don't follow them to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what Jesus Christ is saying here. That yes, when you are a good shepherd, your sheep will hear your voice and they will follow you. Because they will see, they will have checked what you are doing with the word of God, either is tally or not. But when you say to a, a, your, 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 your followers, who says he came to report maybe his friend to you, and you said, you said otherwise, the advice, the counsel you give is not, can never be found in the book of God. Then if, if such a follower is a knowledge person in the book of God, he will not answer, he will not follow you. Then you'll be calling them rebel. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you are a follower too, and the shepherd is giving you the right way of the Lord, and you are not following him or her, then you become, you can be referred to as a rebel. Because you must be filled with the Spirit of God for you to enjoy the fullness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.